Okay, in today's uh, video we're going to be looking at um, laid live centres. Um, as you know I've got a little Shorblin 102 um, metal, uh, it's a toolmaker's lathe and uh, I needed a, uh, a centre for it. I've got a, a fixed centre, a dead centre, but I wanted a little live centre. So I looked on the internet to see what was around and uh, reasonable price and I really wanted one like my existing um, live centre that I had for quite a long time. It's a Chinese live centre. I bought it locally. Um, it's a Morse 3 taper. It's got tapered bearings in it. Um, it's adjustable on the end so you can actually tension the, the bearing in it so even after countless hours use as you can see, battle scarred. Uh, everything is rock solid, totally tight. No, uh, no run out or anything. It's an excellent unit, um, and I think from memory it cost me about forty or fifty dollars. Um, great unit, made in China. Excellent, good quality. Could not complain. So I look on the internet to see what's around, and I see that. Uh, one of the large eBay stores um, that just happens to be based in Adelaide. Um, I don't know how many eBay stores there are in Adelaide, but anyway, this one was based in Adelaide. Um, selling um, identical looking uh, live centres in a Morse Table 1, which is what I wanted, a Morse Table 1. And I wanted this style if I could get it, because I know that they're a good unit, no problems. So I ordered one, they, they had it for sale, $28 free delivery, so I thought, well oh, that's pretty good. Uh, it is only a Morse one, so I thought, oh well, you know, 28 bucks, sounds okay. So, uh, given their credit, a day later it arrives, um, and uh, when I get it, um, here's the box. It doesn't look the same as the one that's in the picture that I ordered, so uh, I thought, oh. It's not exactly what I asked for. Anyway, we'll see what it's like. So, it's well packed. I opened the box and in the box is this uh, little, very nice looking, and it looks magnificent, um, Morse Table 1 unit. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's nothing like the one that was in the picture and the one I actually ordered. Uh, but it looks great, it, look, it looks well made, you know, and I thought, oh, yeah, that's okay. Maybe I've got something that's better than I even ordered. So I had a look at it, and the first thing you notice there's no adjustment on it whatsoever. You can't adjust this, not that I can see how this is adjusted. It's just like a pressed together unit with a look of it. I don't know how the hell it comes apart. I take that screw is basically so you can put a, an ejector stub on it, as far as I'm aware. And I get it, and I check it just to see what it's like, and I notice there's movement, there's slop in that bearing. So that's just radial slop and that's with no load on it. So even pushing against it, you can feel there's definite movement in that, in that bearing. And this is supposed to have triple bearings. Well, if they are, they're not, they're not a tapered bearing. Well, I don't know what they are. They just look like a three ball races in there. But I mean, for a, a live centre to be any good, there has to be no side play, no, 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 no movement. So straight away, my sort of uh, the red flag went up, and I thought, I don't know about this. So um, yeah, immediately uh, not impressed uh, on both counts. So we'll uh, we'll put it in the lathe, uh, and we'll do some readings with the dial test indicator on it, and we'll see just how accurate this little. $28 live centre uh, off of eBay really is. So, stay tuned. Okay, I've got the dial test indicator set up and the probe is going to be coming in contact with the side of the ground tip and I've got a bit of preload on the end of the shaft so uh, the shaft is uh, located 
correctly in the in the tip. And I'll start the lathe and I'll wind in the uh, the cross slide and we'll see what sort of a reading. Now this is supposed to have a run out of 0 0.01 millimetre. We'll see how it, how it comes up. Each of the graduations on this are 0 0.01. So we'll wind in the cross slide. So you'd have to say that is pretty close to spec in that position there. We'll bring it down towards the, uh, the taper. Measuring on a taper like this is going to be probably a little bit less accurate, but we'll bring it down and see how it comes. And that's still quite good actually. You can't complain about that really. Now I'll take the preload off the uh, ball races, it's got three ball races in it, so I'll take the preload off that slightly and just watch to see how the accuracy goes as I wind back the preload. It's not too bad actually, the shaft is now loose. And as I bring it in, you can see. It's quite good. But I think for $28, um, this isn't too bad. When I first uh, took it out of the box and felt the tip, I wasn't very impressed. I um, was actually uh, thinking that maybe this would be a uh, return item because you could feel movement, but once you get the end thrust on this, even though it's only got plain ball races in there, uh, the design seems to work okay, so I'm quite happy with it uh, now, but initially I was pretty um, suspect on it. So uh, it looks like it'll do the job, um, and uh, coming out of China, um, yeah, if it's as good as uh, my other big one, um, my big live center, I'd be quite happy, but uh, yeah, looking at this, I think that overall, not too bad, and for, uh, for light use, uh, and the sort of work I'll be doing with it, uh, yeah, I'll give it a, a 9 out of 10, pretty good, see you later.